And this is video number two for the triangles ESA. So what we want to do is we now want to prove that triangles are congruent. So in this case, we're going to take a look at the picture, so the given information in there. And remember that we have five different ways to prove that triangles are congruent. And we need to make sure that one of those five is satisfied. Each one of those five requires us to identify three things that are congruent. So let's take a look at these markers in the picture and use the markers to help us out. So I think I'm going to take a look at the single tick marks. I'm going to go ahead and color code this purple. So my single tick marks of purple. All right, so those are line segments, which means we're going to have line segment AB. Make sure we use the appropriate notation is congruent to, and then we'll find its partner in the other triangle, line segment DB. Now I know these are congruent because it was given to me. So got my reason outside the bubble and my statement on the inside. All right, I also have another line segment. So the double tick marks, go ahead and use blue on that one. So I'm gonna say that B, C line segment is congruent to, in this case, E, F line segment. I also know that those are congruent because it was also given to me, it was in the picture. Okay, now let's take a look at the rest of the picture and see if we can find anything else that's given to us. We do. We've got these arcs in the corner, I'm gonna color code those orange, where angle B and angle E are located. Now, since there's no question about what angle B is, I can just use that single letter. It's congruent too. Make sure you use the correct symbol here for angles. And I also know that those are congruent because it was given to me. Okay, now taking a look at the information that I have, I've got three different bubbles or boxes that state uh, congruence statements. So that's good. Now we just need to figure out which one we have here. So I'm gonna list it off to the side. I've got SSS, SAS, we'll do process of elimination. ASA, AAS, and HL. All right, taking a look at the information that I've got, just based off of the markers in the picture, looks like I have two sides and one angle. So two sides and one angle. All right, so I wanna find which of these five, there might be a couple of them, that have two sides and one angle. So two S's and one A. All right, not there, not there, not there. Okay, looks like these are our two choices. So maybe it's SAS, maybe it's HL. All right, let's see if we can eliminate one of these. Well, I think I can eliminate HL right now. Remember, HL requires that we have a 90 degree angle in the corner. There's no boxes here. All right, if we take a look at the picture. The only option here is SAS. So let's make sure that if we trace the two side lengths, so the purple side length and the blue side length in each of the triangles, as we trace them, we would want our fingers to collide at the location of the angle marker, which I think it does. So SAS is gonna work here. All right, so now we need to state the triangle business. So just be careful with the order here. So triangle, all right, I think I'm gonna go A, B, C. Once you decide the name of the first triangle, you just have to match the order for the second one. So A, B, C, so A was an empty angle, then I went across the purple tick mark, and ended, and ended at the orange arc. So A to B, all right, A to B matches up with D to E. Okay, now B to C, B to C matches up with E to F. All right, I think we've got our triangles now. And my reason for this, well, the one that we figured out that actually worked was SAS. Last thing we need to do is just put the flow into the proof. So draw your arrows down showing that the three bu bubbles above actually contribute to the final bubble. All right, moving on, let's take a look at the next one. The same idea, we've been shown the picture. Now in this case, we need to match up angles and sides that go together, all right. Well, we all know that a 51 degree angle and a 51 degree angle are the same measure. So I'm gonna color code those guys orange. So let's talk about the 51s. I'm gonna call that angle A and angle D. There's no question about them possibly being confused with any other angle A or D. So I know that these guys were given to me, marked in the picture, or actually identified as both the same size. 
Yeah, let's see. Let's do the 45s also. Color code those in blue. So I've got angles congruent to, all right, that's angle E. I also know that because it was given to me. It told me that I had two 45s. 45 degrees is congruent to 45 degrees. Okay, taking a look at the picture, let's see what else we could identify. All right, I see sevens here. So I know that those sevens are the exact same size. All right, these are line segments. So I'm gonna call this line segment AB is congruent to, okay, AB. So I went from the 51 to the 45. I may as well just stick with that. So I think this is gonna be DE. I know that those are congruent because it was also given to me. Now remember, in some of these problems, you're gonna to have to utilize your vocabulary of uh, vertical angles and reflexive sides. So you might wanna have those notes in front of you as well. Okay, so let's see if we satisfy one of these. So I'm gonna list out my five. Let's see if we can figure out which one this is. So if we're told to prove something, it's gonna work. We just have to figure out which one. Okay, if we take a look at this, we had a 51 degree and a 45 degree, so that's two angles. And the seven was one side. So two angles, one side. So two A's, one S. Two A's, one S. All right, looks like we have ASA or AAS. All right, I'm gonna use the same idea as I did before. So I'm gonna put my fingers on the two angles that are identified, so the 51 and the 45, in one of the triangles. And I'm gonna trace the line that kind of connects those two angles together. And if that is where the seven is located, this guy is ASA. If it's not where the seven is located, then it would be the AAS. However, I do believe that the side is where I trace between the 45 and the 51. So there we go. We can say that the triangles are congruent. So triangle, doesn't matter what order you pick on the triangle on the left. So I'm gonna go ABC. You just have to make sure that you match the order. Triangle, okay, A, B, C. So I started at the 51 and I went to the 45 and then I went to an empty angle. So 51 to 45 is D to E and then empty angle is going to F. And my reason for this, well, we figured out that it was angle side angle. And then don't forget to put your flow into the flow chart. And that finishes our video.